my mom is really freaking out. She's like, sometimes I can't look <laughs> after. Then my dad says, yeah, she won. And then she re-watches it. <laughs> My name is Michaela Polares. I have an Olympic silver medal and two world bronze medals and I'm from Austria. We have lots, lots of nature, beautiful places, mountains, lakes. Being in the nature is just, I think, good for everything, for your body, for your soul, for your mind, especially for the mind, I think. Growing up here was really nice. During the week I train in my club at home. I like being at home with my community. We travel so much and then it's nice to be at home and then you can just chill and training goes easily, I think. But we have the Olympic Center in Linz and we have to go there from Tuesday to Thursday. I drive about mm, two and a half hours. <laughs> I take my training partners with me, like Lisa, uh, Marlene, Luki. I uh, will listen to music. I have my friends and my house here, my family, of course, and I just don't want to give this up. Yeah, when I come back from Linz, I come to my house and hopefully my cat says hello. <laughs> then I cuddle my cat and feed her. <laughs> yeah, it's just a nice feeling coming home and yeah, my friends are very important. I really need them for talking and they also help me with the judo. Most of them we have fun. <laughs> we know each other for a pretty long time, but we really got friends like in 2016, 2017 because that was when we got older and we start to fight on international tournaments and that's like also the start when we got training partners. I think my favorite memory was when she was in Tokyo and then she she rated me an extra postcard where she she sent me like yeah I'm so proud that you're my friend and thank you for everything and we were so happy we cried all the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I think we were same nervous like Nikki. Probably more. Probably more. No. <laughs> I told my sister how much I love her because I think I never told her really before. <laughs> and then I wrote in the postcards like yeah. this kind of stuff and personal to my close friends. My feelings going into the Olympics, they were mixed. I won the bronze medal at the Worlds. So I know that I can really get a medal there. It was a really long and hard day, <laughs> of course. When I was in the quarterfinal against Matic, I was just so happy that I beat her because I lost in the Worlds before. And then I won the semi-final and it was just an amazing feeling because you know you have a medal. And I was celebrating a little, but I was looking for the gold medal. But then I lost the finals. And then it's hard to, to celebrate, but then my team was on the tribune and they were all clapping and screaming and it was just so nice. And then I remembered, wow, it, I have a medal, it's so amazing. And then I could just be happy about it. When I was a kid, I often don't want to train. And then my mom pushes me to the training. <laughs> so this was also very important. And they drove me to the first competitions like every weekend and it's, kind of also their success. I, I don't know, there are just so many emotions. I can't really describe them and it's really amazing. <laughs> I hope that Judo in Austria is becoming more popular and there are so many Austrians there and cheering for everyone, not just for our Austrians, also for the others and they stayed in the hall. It was all time full. Just crazy how time's changing. It's a nice feeling. looking forward for a gold medal at the Olympics. Yeah, my parents will be so proud, but I think they're already proud of me and I think it doesn't matter if I bring home a medal or not.